Hi, we already have an uh, item on the Academy on generating a public URL or link for Form Butler. So uh, this is a uh, link that you can uh, reuse or use uh, just without creating all of the, uh, the documents yet, but just saying, okay, if they click on it, if it's being used, then start generating the documents and setting up all the uh, form butter stuff. So that means that no uh, space in, uh, in Salesforce is used, just a link that is created. Uh, in certain cases, you actually want to maybe pass on extra variables in that link. So these can be used by making your selection in the data sources. In our example here, we have a doc config and that doc config uses a couple of data sources. One of the data source is filtering out all the opportunities by a certain stage name. And this data source obviously has a certain variable. And this variable, we're going to uh, actually insert into the process for generating the URL. And then this variable is going to be used everywhere. So let's take a look. Um, if I have, I want to introduce this variable, I'm going to go to a flow. And in my flow, I'm going to actually create the, uh, the public URL. We already in the uh, example over here, we already had this component. So this component uses a certain pack. This is hard coded. Don't do that, please. Uh, uh, create a get records uh, in your flow, but here it's just hard coded. It uses the current record ID, um, and then all the items are set. But most importantly here, these are parameters, extra parameter, parameters that are set. If we switch them off, they are not passed on. If we switch them on, they obviously are passed on. So how do we generate these parameters? We first have to uh, start by creating a variable. And in this case, I called the variable key value. Why? Because it's a key value pair. So there is a key. And in this case, the key is going to be the, uh, um, the variable name, opportunity stage, eh? OPP stage. That's the variable name. That's the key. And then there is the value. And the value is, yeah, a certain opportunity that we want, a certain um, stage that we want to select for all the opportunities. Eh? So that's, uh, that's clear. Uh, if you want to have multiple variables, you will have to create multiple of these uh, key value pairs. Uh, variables in your flow. And then, of course, you can say, well, I have one, sorry, I have one called opportunity stage. I have one called account ID. I have one called uh, whatever kind of uh, uh, start date or end date uh, for something. Everything is possible, but you just have to add them one by one to your flow. So that's a key value pair, but we want to have a list of these key value pairs. So we group them in another variable called parameters. As you can see, this parameters is again apex defined and uh, the, uh, the apex class to use is Cadmus parameters. Maybe I uh, uh, forgot to mention that, but in the key value, this is also apex defined and the class to use is Cadmus key value. So make sure that these set uh, are set correctly and then they can be used in the logic. So um, to now set some values to our key value pair, we are of course going to use assignments. So in this assignment here, um, we have a key. That's the, uh, like I said before, that's the variable name that we want to use in our uh, um in our data source, so in this case, opportunity stage. And then we have a certain value. This value I'm now hard coded to qualification. So qualification is a stage that is on our opportunity, as you can see over here. So if I need another stage, for instance, closed one or a proposal price quote, whatever, I can fill in anything I like here. Uh, the cool thing about these values is that you have different types of values. So for instance, if I would uh, add the dot here, you will see all the options. You can have a Boolean value, a date value, date time value, uh, a number. You can even have a multi-select. So that's multiple values that you want to uh, select from or a string. So in this case, it's just a string, right? just a piece of text. Um, that we're going to use. But uh, of course, if you say, well, I want to have two variables because I want to select some records between a certain date selection, then you just create two v uh, key value pairs with uh, and fill in a date here instead of an, uh, a string. So for now, I'm going to go for the text uh, for the value string uh, option here. 
to select the qualification. And this one is, uh, is a text that I want to use. Okay, that's done. Now, uh, well, we have to pass on these new parameters to the uh, to generation of the public URL. So now, uh, how do we do that? First of all, we have to switch on this uh, switch to pass on the pa parameters, and then we can just say, take the parameters. So it's the entire parameters object that you need. So uh, automatically, the uh, the flow will put a dot here, but you can remove that dot and then just keep the, uh, the parameters there. Okay, this is done. So now let's uh, save our changes and let's test it up. So I'm going to test this in uh, deep. Uh, let's take a look when the uh, when the trigger flow uh, runs. It uh, it runs when the stage name equals negotiation review. So if I'm going to debug this, I'm going to select a certain opportunity. Let's go for RFP 2023. Okay, and I'm going to trigger it by changing the stage to negotiation review. Run uh, my uh, my flow. So uh, and yeah, I'm just going to do this in debug mode here. So, uh, uh, and you could see the, uh, the output URL down here. So this is the output URL. You can use this URL to update the record as being done here. It's explained in the previous video. If I would now copy this one over uh, this URL and paste it in a new browser window, then this browser window would automatically open up my form request with all the information that I need. So working perfectly, this is how I can introduce extra parameters into an uh, into the generation of a public URL for form purposes.